Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another random game on the channel. Today we're going to be checking out Rescue HQ. This is a tycoon game for firefighters, police, and EMS. It's a big HQ station that you can build. Actually pretty neat, I played a little bit. And I do want to thank the developer for sending over a key, that way I can show it to you guys. Now it does release at the end of the month, I'll have a link down in the description if you want to check it out. But let's jump right into it. All right, here we are. Here is our little HQ. It looks absolutely embarrassing right now. Like you can't even deploy fire or anything from this. So I'm gonna skip through parts of the tutorial. Basically what it's doing, it's trying to teach you how to uh, build a basic fire station. But eventually I think we're gonna cover the whole map with like a fire station, police station, and a hospital, which I think is awesome. So this thing does remind me a little bit of Two Point Hospital, which I absolutely loved that game. And that's why I'm excited to jump into this. So what we need to do, we actually need to build a garage, which we have one right here, ready to go. So we'll go over here. I'm gonna go and skip through the tutorial bits here. And then you go over to garage and we need to place a basic firefighting vehicle uh, or basic fire truck, I should say. So we're gonna place it here. There we go. We got them working on that. We got to get a basic firefighting station up right now. Uh, you can see this is the utility room back here. They got the lockers. We'll put some air tanks in here. And then you've got like a office area uh, for hiring new recruits. And then eventually we'll have to build some sort of area for the firefighters to live in. So we got a list of things to do here. Now if you guys want to see more of this game or if you're just enjoying random games on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button and let me know down in the comment section below what you want to see next. All right, so here's our utility room. Let's go ahead and build a couple things in here. So we need a an air storage, which we'll stick that over here. This is where the air tanks for the firefighters go. And then we need a refill station and we'll stick it over here. There we go. So we got all that taken care of. That should complete our first objective. And they're gonna go right to work here. Uh, somebody's gonna go over to the refill station. They'll start pumping those tanks and they'll store them over here. So when we have to go out on emergencies, uh, we'll have the tanks ready to go. So another thing I need to build over here, we've got a hiring office. So we'll go to office and we'll put a chair, actually no, a desk in here. So we'll stick this down. You know, let's just stick it over here. So that'll make it to where we can actually hire people now. You know, I have a feeling I put that desk backwards. Yeah, she's working on the computer, and I guess you put the employee in the corner. Can I, uh, can I move this? I'm pretty sure I can. Uh, maybe we'll move it here in a little bit. But yeah, we're just gonna wait around. We gotta get a call here. Actually, you know, we need a training area. So, I like design games like this. I like being able to build, like, corridors and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna build a hallway that continues here. Which, the building system in the game is actually quite nice. I was really surprised by that. So we'll build a, uh, training area. We'll make it... Actually, I think it needs to be kind of big. We'll go about right here to begin with. We can always add on to it. And then I need to unlock... This is the, uh, water hauling training, which apparently... They're going to be hauling around buckets. Uh, we need to really unlock like a pump truck or something. All right, so while I'm out here, I'm going to go ahead and continue this hallway. I'm going to make it tee off real quick, and we'll do something like that. That way we can place some stuff over here uh, once we need it, which right now we actually do need it. We need a kitchen and a bathroom. Now, I'm still debating how much space you need for a lot of these items. Uh, let's go ahead. Oh, it's talking about the crew needs. They need a hygiene right now. So, we're gonna build a bathroom. Actually, we're gonna put the kitchen probably in the front here. So we'll have a kitchen here, and then we'll have a bathroom here. And we'll stick a door to the bathroom, and we'll put a door to the kitchen right across the hall there from the other door. That way I can kinda keep it nice looking. So, let's see, we'll put some showers in here. We'll just stick the bare minimum, that way I don't waste a whole bunch of money to begin with. So we'll do uh, two toilets. And we need, we'll put two sinks in, and we'll see how uh, they handle this, and uh-oh, uh-oh, we get a call right when the uh, shift stops, uh, okay, let's switch shifts, alright, so we got two hours, so if you look in the uh, top right, we have a fire call, which I hope we have the right stuff here, so I'm gonna click this, and it's gonna talk about what the emergency, actually, I don't even know if it says what the actual emergency is, let's see, oh no, Fluffy's is stuck in a tree, <laughs> Okay, so we need to, oh, I don't think I have a ladder, do I? Uh, okay, how about we just send some people out there? Yeah, I, I don't have a ladder. That's the problem here. I, I can't actually successfully do this one because we don't have the right truck. Okay, 
So, you've got your requirements, which you can see, I need a ladder, which we'll have to build another garage and hopefully unlock another truck. And you'll have, like, what, how many firefighters it might require, or any equipment. And then you, uh, select that and dispatch it. So, I don't know if we're gonna actually, uh, say Fluffy here. Uh, let's go, dispatch. Good luck, boys! You're gonna have to manually climb that tree. We should really look into a, uh, another, uh, garage here really soon. I haven't really figured out how to balance money in the game yet, so I might just run this fire station into the ground. <laughs> There's a big possibility that's going to happen. Uh, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and build them a nice little kitchen. Now, one thing that is missing, I don't see tables. All I see are chairs. So I'm assuming everybody has to use their lap to eat in, which is fine by me. So we'll stick that there, and that should complete our next objective. And oh, wait, the emergency was successful? All right, somebody did climb the tree. We did save fluffers. Okay. So, we're going to redeem that. Now, that's going to add uh, reputation points to us, and then eventually we'll get so many. I guess it unlocks new things uh, in the game, but, yeah, that was pretty cool. Man, this really looks weird. I think we need to add a garage to this side. Where's my money? Okay, I've got 81000 and then my weekly cost is negative 31000 but I think that's because of all the buildings and all the extras that we've added. I wonder what the daily is. Can we break this down somewhere? So we have a city hall budget, I guess each week of 50,000 and our financial report showing negative 30, but that's like I said because of the building. So I think we're good right now. I'm going to go ahead and add that second garage even though I don't think we have the truck. Oh, do we? Oh, we have a ladder truck now. I think. Yeah. No, there's one down here. Uh, it's your extendable ladder carrier and then we do have a water tank one. Which one's more important? Actually, we could do a two-car garage. You know, we're going to go for it here. Let's uh, spend some money. Okay, so I don't know about how big this is going to be. Uh, let me go ahead and unlock. Can I unlock both of these or just one? Oh, I can. All right, so we can put a truck here. So we'll put it right here to keep it one off the wall. And then we'll stick one over here. We just spent a lot of money, I think. All right, we'll stick one. We'll keep a gap there. Boom. All right, so we're gonna have those trucks come in. Oh, I need to add a, I guess, a door to this. There we go. All right, so we're gonna have all the necessary equipment for a fire. Uh-oh, here we go. Uh, should I wait? Oh, I can't wait. My uh, trucks are still coming in. They're in boxes. Apparently, they build them. All right, we need to respond to this. What do we have? Actually, I think we can do this. Oh, we need a water tank. I don't think I have that. Okay, you know what? This is fine. We're gonna send four firefighters. Uh, we'll send the truck. Oh, that does have a water tank. And then we need how many? One air tank. So what is the emergency? Citizens have reported smoke coming out of a house in a quiet neighborhood. All right, we got this. All right, I'm going to go ahead and dispatch them. We probably need to work on hiring somebody. Let's see. Applicants. We can go over here. Uh, what is our day shift like? Do we have enough for day and night? You know, we're going to hire somebody to the day shift. There we go. All right, so we have another emergency. This one should get us over the uh, the 200 reputation points that we need to earn here. So let's go ahead. We're going to send out a truck because we need a water tank. So let's go with the uh, LF-10. see. We're going to put some of our veteran firefighters out. And then let's go ahead and stick some of the newbies. So I think the newbies are these rookies. So I want to have a couple of them out there to get some sort of experience. Okay, and let's go ahead and give them... I've only got three air tanks ready. Okay, so we're going to have to dispatch them at 90%. Probably need to work on doing another air station or something. I have another storage area, but maybe this thing is overloaded. Can we uh, can we upgrade this thing? I don't know if you can upgrade stuff or not. Ah, well, let's wish them the best of luck. Somebody's not going to have a uh, an air tank here. Ah, you guys go there. Is this, uh, this vehicle need to be repaired? Oh, we can actually send this out to be repaired. I guess we better do that. All right. All right, this is going to drive us over to 200. Now it wants us to get 300 points. Oh, now we can build the police stuff. Yes, that is awesome. All right, well, we'll work on that. All right, so we can build police things. Can I buy? Okay, I can buy this land over here now for 45,000. We're going to need it. All right, so we've unlocked that. Should I make it a completely separate HQ and then eventually merge them? I think that's what I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and pause this real quick. That way I can maybe lay out a bit of a building plan. Because I don't want the uh, firefighters merging with the other ones right now. So let's go ahead. We're going to build a police station on the corner here. And then eventually they will connect. Maybe we'll make this uh, long corridor down here connect. I already see a couple officers in here. Huh. 
You guys, you're gonna get a little bit different area, just saying. Hopefully this works. I might have to stick it a little bit closer, I'm not sure. Oh, you know what we could do? We could do a hole that does th this? There we go. We'll put the police station stuff on the right. We'll put a big double door here uh, in the front, which I hope this fits. There we go. All right, now we can split this up a little bit. All right, so we're gonna give the police their own little office here. We're gonna stick this up towards the front. We'll try to base everything off this one hallway for now. So I needed that. Let's go ahead, we're gonna stick a door in right here. There we go. And we need a police, let's see, we have a paper storage. We need a hiring station and a police desk. All right, so let's go ahead and unlock all of those. Okay, so paper storage is literally just a filing cabinet, so we can stick that over there. It says we only need one of those. And we need a hiring station, which I need to put this in the right position this time. So we'll do that. And then we'll put a police desk. Oh, that's kind of a nice little cubicle area. We'll stick everybody in the same area for now. And then maybe we could separate these. I can always stick another desk on the other side of this. All right, so I think we're gonna deploy the police garage. We'll keep it here in the front also. And so let's go ahead and go garage. I guess they're gonna share the common areas for the time being, and then we'll eventually build them their own. All right, so let's go here. So they're gonna need a way to this garage. Uh-oh, I think I screwed that up a little bit. I got an idea for this. So we're gonna have a hall that extends here, and I'm gonna extend this office a couple blocks to kind of fix that. There we go. All right, so let's give them a door, and we'll get some police cruisers in here. Okay, so go one, two. Oh, I can't stick a second one in here? Dang it, we're gonna have to make it a little bit bigger. And I, I've got an idea for this. I'm actually gonna probably block off the back of this thing and make it a utility room because they need one of those. And I can't put cars back here, so maybe we'll go utility room with lockers and stuff back in here. And then we'll add a, uh, a door to it right. Let's make it match up with the door across the hall right here. And then we can put a couple police lockers in here for them. That works, there we go. So that should be everything that we need. So now we can actually uh, take police emergencies, which is pretty cool. All right, so it looks like we have police SUVs here now. And I think we can hire some here too. So let's see, let's hire, we got eight people on the day shift for the police. We're gonna hire, actually this is a firefighter. Right, let's go and hire one of them. What about police officers? I guess they're researching that right now and doing the hiring process, but yeah, I think we'll be okay here. Hopefully we got a couple that can at least respond to uh, minor calls. So what I gotta do now, I've gotta actually grind away to 300 reputation points. But with this many emergencies going, I think this is gonna be okay because we've got plenty of fire and we got the uh, couple of police officers here uh, for the city. Now I think if we get around to the EMS, it'll probably be on this side. So we'll keep center firefighter, right side police, left side EMS, which we got our first police call. What is this? It says, some angry citizens are escalating their argument. Neighbors have placed an emergency call. Send the police crew on location. All right, so all we got to do is send, what, two officers, one car. Okay. We really need some more officers, like ASAP. All right, let's go ahead and go boom. All right, so they're going to deploy. And then I got a fire, too. Which it says, uh, some stray fireworks started a small fire in a neighborhood. Let's be quick in extinguishing them so the people can continue to have a good time. People in their fireworks. You guys got to quit doing this. All right, we're going to send a rookie here too to get some training. And we'll send a water truck and we'll get the air tank. All right, let's go uh, send them out. Police car is about to go for the first time. There it goes. Uh, by the way, this is Berlin. If that, I don't know if it really looks like Berlin, but you know. That's what it says this one is. There's different maps. You got like a San Francisco and there's a couple more, but yeah, this is like the, uh, I guess the beginner scenario. All right. So apparently we are going to actually do this mafia event that keeps popping up since we have police enforcement. So I need a prepared armed police for the mafia boss trial. So what do I, is, I mean, he's going to tell me what I need here. Uh, it says prepare armed police. What is this? I don't know what that means. Hold on, let me go ahead and get, uh, can I hire more police? Yes, I can. Okay, let's go ahead and hire a, uh, another one here if it'll let me. Uh, it's saying I can, but okay. So apparently we can actually build the holding cells and stuff like that. Now I kind of regret putting the office and stuff up here. 
Also, we need to actually add a, I guess it's an armored police van. So we're going to expand our garage out real quick. We'll go ahead and take it to the end of the street here. There we go. So garage is expanded. Let's go ahead and get the police van, which we're going to need this for the Mafia boss trial. We'll go boom there. Okay. So we need that. I guess we need some training, which uh, you got training doors and all that. We're going to give the police a separate training location. I'm a little... I don't know. I'm freaked out about this, uh, where I need to stick the holding cells. I don't think anybody can escape, but I know it's got me thinking here. Uh, we're definitely gonna need to figure out where to put this. All right, I figured out something I actually like better. I'm gonna connect the hall here, and then we'll do some holding cells. So, how do I need to... I guess we'll stick them maybe back over here. Let me go ahead and expand this out to the street. Uh, we'll add a double door to the end of this. And then we'll fill in this area here with, I guess, some of the stuff that we need. So we need a holding cell. How does this work? I just go, uh, that? Or is that one cell on? Okay. Oh, okay. I got it. So you literally put the gel. I don't. Yeah, I, I get it, and I don't get what it's doing here. Hold on. Let's go. Holding cell door. Can we literally stick the door out here? Oh, we can. All right. So... <laughs> It's kind of a nicely decorated hallway that leads to a jail cell, which is perfect. All right, so we'll need to stick maybe a couple benches in here. There we go. I like how they have a view of the outside, too, right now. I really need to enclose this. All right, let's build that secondary training area for our police here. All right, so let's get a couple of these uh, door kicker things. We'll go boom and boom. And let's go ahead and put a door here. We'll have plenty of room for uh, additional police items that we might need okay so we have the police van anything else that we can add for them i think we've got about everything that we should need so i feel confident i'm just kind of waiting for this little mafia day thing to happen all right so we have built up quite a force here i still need to work on this police thing because it does look a little strange uh, but eventually we're going to get around to the Mafia Day event, which we, I guess we're going to have to do it next episode because it's still taking forever to actually get here. I don't know if there's a way to initiate it. Uh, I don't believe there is. I think we have to wait for it to randomly appear. But we do have pretty much all the things that we need for it. So uh, we should be good to go once it actually happens. Let's go ahead and uh, send out for another emergency here. There we go. So yeah, we have a pretty functional HQ right now. If you guys want to see more of this, let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you guys for all the love and support on the series and all the love and support on the random games on the channel. But yeah, if you want to check this out, link down in the description, and we will see you guys next time.